Hello everybody! In this video I'm going to tell you how to add a guest account in Windows, how to enable it, set up a password or remove the account. Hello friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you'll be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. The guest account in Windows lets other users work with your computer but restricts such use to certain limits. Users under the guest account cannot install or uninstall programs, modify system settings, set up additional hardware and open apps from Windows 10 Store. In the guest mode, people can't open standard folders of other users, such as documents, pictures, music, videos, downloads and desktop, or delete files from system folders, such as Windows and program files. In Windows versions before 10, you can enable the integrated guest account by going to Control Panel – User Accounts, Add or Remove a User Account, selecting the guest account and just clicking Turn On. Yet, in, yet Windows 10 has been stripped of such function. You can create a local user, but you can't enable a user with guest right either in the Control Panel or in PC settings. Even if you manage to enable the account, it won't even show up on the sign-in screen. To turn on the guest account, start the command prompt, type cmd in the search field and run it as administrator. Enter the following command. And after that the account will appear in the Start menu, but if you try opening it, the account will not be shown at the next sign-in. To fix this problem, you have to modify group policy settings. Type gpedit.msc in the search field and start it. The editor is available in Pro and Enterprise versions of Windows. Go to Computer Configuration, Windows Settings, Security Settings, Local Policies, User Right Assignments and look on the right to find Deny Log on Locally and remove the guest item. Now that the guest account has been turned on, it will appear on the user list in the sign-in screen after you restart or log off. There is one more way to go – by creating a local user and let this account have guest rights only. To do it, launch the command prompt as administrator and enter the following command. To create a user. Then remove the current user from all groups where the user belongs to, modify the rights, enter the following commands. Where visitor is the name of the user we have created. Now you need to add the user to the guest user group, so enter another command. Alright, the user with guest rights has been created, and you can use this account to sign in. You can also add a guest user account with the menu Local Users and Groups. To do it, type lusrmgr.msc in the search field and run it. If the search gives no result, then your operating system doesn't support this function. In the window that opens, select Users, More Actions, New User, specify a name, a password if necessary and click Create. Then open the user line you have just created and go to the tab Member of. Delete everything, then click Add, Advanced, Find Now, select Guests and click OK. Alright, the user with guest rights has been created. At the first sign-in, the system will ask you to set up a password for this account. To use the account without a password, just click on the arrow in the Password Confirmation window. You can set up a password for the already created accounts by going to Control Panel, which you can find in the search field. Then we want to user accounts, manage another account, select the user and click Create a password. Then specify the password, confirm it, give password hint, that's all, the password is created. 
Now let's see how to remove such an account. You can do it by entering the same command that you used to enable it, but in the end you will have no. Over the command net user visitor slash delete, or by using the menu local users and groups, just right click on the user account and select delete. Or do it by going to control panel user accounts, manage another account, choose the one you want to remove and click on delete the account. When you sign in as visitor, you'll see some differences. Tiles in the Start menu will look like arrows pointing down. It's because you can't install apps from the store while you are logged in as a guest. You'll just have to unpin all such tiles from the Start menu by right-clicking on them and selecting Unpin from Start. That is all for now. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment to ask one. Thank you for watching and good luck!